welcome to Glowing Up. My name is Penda Jai, and we have two amazing glow getters on our show today competing for this intergalactic space yeah, pinball machine, you. right? Throw back to our childhood. Who doesn't want this? If no one wins it, I'm taking it with me. All right, let's go ahead and meet our contestants. First up, we have Pat, who's a TV and story producer at Discovery Studios. Let's hear it for Pat. Yeah. And next up, we have Denise, who is an incredible all-around dope artist. She's a singer, she's an actress, she's a dancer. She does it all. Let's hear it for Denise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, may the best glow getter win. The go. first game is so simple. Lightning round, first person to buzz right, in and answer correctly gets one yeah, this, point. This is, this is oh, it. they're getting right ready. Here, you can't they're getting ready. This. Who's going to win? Battle of the sexes, right? All right, let's get started. First question. A painting by which artist recently sold for $110.5 million? Me, <laughs> Denise. First. Picasso. No. no. Basquiat. Yes, hey. that's one point for Pat. Yes, Basquiat recently. All right, number two. Shout in Texas, Haitians. a man is suing a woman because she was doing what all throughout their first date at the movies? Ooh. I'm gonna let you get it. Women first. Ladies you, first. You Denise. bus first. Though. Was it? I thought that was the same time. She was texting. Texting. I yes, read that's this. Super yeah, I saw this bad. She was texting during the movie, so he is suing you her. That? Right? That's so crazy. That's why I wanted you to guess, so you lose, and then I would be like, oh, because I need to. I need more time chance? to think. First of all, don't take a lady to the movies for the first date. It's not a good first date. Okay. Number three. Why doesn't Donald Trump believe in exercise? Denise. Is he old? <laughs> no, Pat, do you know? I don't know. No, I don't because know. he believes that you're only born with a certain amount of energy in your life, and so he does not want to expel any of that energy on exercise. He'd rather <laughs> wow. do it doing other things. All right, number four. The newly crowned Miss USA received backlash after initially saying that healthcare is a what? Denise. It's, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessary. It's not a... I don't, know if, I don't know if you get a second chance. <laughs> she said it's a blank, not a blank. It's a privilege, not a guarantee, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, how do you know? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, that sums up game number one. Awesome. Ooh. Pat, you Wait, are the was, winner. What was the score? Oh, the score was... Don't rub it in. Don't do that. I just feel like I just don't lost you that. right now. Well, thank you guys. Thanks, Pat. Time. Congratulations. <laughs> and since you're the winner, we're going to go ahead and, you know, ask you okay. a little personal question. Right. So you just wrapped like a, a pilot, right, for an all minority cast yeah. sci-fi show. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know why do you think just in general minorities are not represented wow. so well in the sci-fi genre? Well, I don't think it's just the sci-fi genre. I kind of think it's, uh, you know, Hollywood in general, minorities are not really represented as much as we kind of wish we were. Um, you know, that comes from casting, it comes from the directors, it comes from the powers that be. I think the biggest reason why is that the audiences mainly look a certain way, so they cast a certain way. That's kind of right. what the issue is. And the filmmakers look a certain way. So as if more of us start to make films and support films, really good films like Get Out that just came out yeah. or Dope or that kind of thing. Right. If more stuff like that starts to happen, I think we'll see like a trend change. Yeah, definitely. But um, it's definitely a problem. Right. And supporting the community, right? And being open to uh, those kind of movies and creations and collaborations. And Denise, since moving here from New York, you've started the Loft series, right? So I can have. you tell us what, what is the Loft series? What's it about? Yeah. So the Loft series is something I started in New York in private lofts. It's a live performance, music, live DJ, good vibes. It kind of stemmed from when I was younger watching, like as a kid watching all the P. Diddy videos and mm. like Usher videos and like, ah, what Fleeky, and then like now being a grown adult and not having any of those fleeky type parties to really go to. So right. I said, well, if there's nothing for me to go to, I'll throw it. And so that's a loft series, and I perform amongst uh, local artists. It's based in downtown LA, so it has that New York urban sort of vibe, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it has that just that real, uh, just that realness to it that I feel like. Sometimes you can't always get when you're out. Right. No, definitely. I've been to, you know, a couple of the Lost series that yeah. you put on, and it's always a great time with real authentic artists where they're just genuinely wanting to share their art. So yeah. that's amazing and incredible. So congratulations Thank you. to you about that. And when is the next one? When can we catch the next Lost yeah. series? So if you follow me on Instagram, Denise okay. Yolen, uh, yes. at Denise Yolen, y -O -L -E -N, you'll get the link and you'll get all the details and information from there. Okay, dope. Well, it's game time again. Ooh. And since all of us have come from the East Coast to L.A., 
I'm gonna name off a few crazy instances that have happened and it's your job to let me know if it happened in New York or LA. Is LA as crazy as New York? Who knows? <laughs> <We'll find out. laughs> this game is called so. Two Cities, One Crazy. Oh yes. wait, time you have out. A second Can this be a rematch? Let's do it. Let's do a rematch. For, for that? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Because I want I need this. Like I told you. <laughs> you know what? We could do it. We could do that. We could do that. We could All right. do that. Oh, All right. Okay. I'm down for this. Here we go. I feel that Number confident one. right now. <laughs> Two drunk guys decided to turn an old car into the world's first drivable, fully operational hot tub. L.A. Mm, yes, LA. L.A. There you go. <laughs> Number two. It has to do with cars. It's L.A. <laughs> a man created a dating website for himself only. New York. Yes, New oh, York. Oh, I have it. Number three. The y'all seen, magic... <laughs> seen that? I know y'all seen that. Magic Restroom Cafe is the first toilet-themed eatery. Yeah, New York. L.A., baby. No, it's L.A. Really? It's LA. Have you know LA? Mm -hmm. Number four, guy married sex shop dummy. New York. LA. LA. Sleeping on LA. The last one. This man walked around the city with fifty dollar bills taped to his suit just to see how greedy people can be. New York. Yeah. All right, see? Denise. You see what happens, though? You always come back, baby. Bro. What's really good? All right. Yeah. All right. So Denise, you get this pinball intergalactic. You stole it. Bro. Yes, battle of the sexes. <laughs> The ladies always win. Thank you so much for tuning in to Glowing Up. My name is Penda Jai. Thank you to our incredible glow getter, Pat and Denise. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.